Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement where we are here for season one, episode eight of X-Men 97. And it feels as if it's been a really long time since that last episode, like so, so long. I'm, where were we, where were we? So Rogue was grieving. She was grieving hard. She was outright just murking people. <laughs> we had the reveal of Bastion, Super Sentinel. We had the reveal, Cable came back. Now everyone knows that Nathan is Cable Cable's Nathan and I find it hilarious that his greeting to his father was almost the exact same that Scott had towards his father. Karma. <laughs> We're gonna see Corsair again. That will be interesting. Cap came back for half a second. Promptly lost his shield thanks to Rogue. Who? Uh, okay, so apparently these next three are gonna be even more bombastic than the other ones. I don't know, but I'm ready for it, and I'm so glad that you're here with me. So please don't forget, full episode watch long is available on Patreon. Otherwise, you can subscribe here. Subscribe both. I'd appreciate it. And I do have my shots of whiskey on standby. The X Men 97 drinking game continues. If you're playing along, or even if you're not, let me know if I've missed one. Anytime our gang walks into a trap, it's a trap, they get the drop on them, we're drinking. Anytime the method of defeating your enemy is just to scream at them, listen to me, we're drinking. And then of course, those romantic relationship and secret baby reveals. There have been a lot so far. And for the last two episodes, I'm willing to add a fourth one, but I want you all, you all suggest to me, what do you think I should look out for? Reasonable, I don't want to die. <laughs> So do we see Charles this one? I don't know, we shall see. Okay, I guess, let's just watch it. We'll just watch it. <laughs> Thanks, let's go. You call him Mr. Sinister. Call him Mr. Tibbs. Dead unlike the rest of you, I evolved. So Theo James as Bastion has just a hint of Jeff Goldblum. Just a hint, just enough that makes me sometimes want to giggle, even though he's being all sinister. I'm expecting a Jeff Goldblumism any moment. Have you two had a chance to speak? Apparently, his mutant power includes vanishing from any room I enter. Any word why Bishop's not with him? He told Beast they were separated in the time stream. Nathan, a oh. cable, landed in the future alone. I sent Nathan away to give him the best possible future, and it was so horrible, he's come back to stop it. <laughs> yeah, that is... <laughs> oh, that's a thought. <laughs> His name is Bastion. The Prime Sentinels were created using the same techno-organic virus Sinister infected me with as a baby. His Prime Sentinels would be living weapons capable of reproducing, literally giving birth to a new apex species Designed to replace mutants oh. like humans did Neanderthals. Oh! Bastion's evolutionary war lasted 300 years. So another dystopia where Logan's the last to die. Like old pieces of tech, oh. Bastion saved humanity by upgrading them. Oh. Any mutant who survived was put to work. Mutants ushered in a bright and peaceful future as its backbone. Uh until i've tried it all over and over each time we attempt to stop the attack on genosha we are temporally pulled away from the event the mystics of kamartage speak of absolute points events oh that occur gosh. across all timelines it was you you're why madeline was happy when she died when she, she... saw you Oh, I thought she was going to say when she died. That machine killed my mother. We need to make sure he doesn't do the same to anyone else. A couple centuries late in the overprotective dad bit, huh? Both of you, stop it. Look. And our empire shall welcome a new Professor Charles Xavier. Oh, this is what Bastion did. Oh. 
This shocking off-world transmission was released by the UN, who now fear the X-Men faced the Mentor's death to garner support for mutants. Even more alarming are the reports that Henry Gyrick was found murdered in Mexico City today. Bastion's been playing us from the get-go. It's time to turn the tables and end questions. the twisted plans for the future. Okay, question. So every time Cable goes back to Genosha, it is a, I can't remember what it's called, like, fixed time event. Not the incursion, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Why can't he go to before Genosha and prevent it way earlier? I'm hosting a fundraiser here for Genosha. Somebody needs to help those poor souls. The X-Men certainly aren't. We were trying to keep you people from coming after the professor again. You people? Well, thankfully, my guests and I don't believe that a few bad apples spoil the whole bunch. Nexus. Nexus of it? Was that the word? Maybe. Nexus beans. Nexus of it. Madeline preferred her first name, too. It was hard for her. A telepath who could not trust her own memories, who fears the past as much as the future. Madeline's memories are my own. It's odd. I, I see her son, and I remember him kicking inside me, and Scott listening, and those cravings for oranges with cottage cheese. But it's all a lie. Memories are merely dim images echoing with emotion. But he's Madeline's blood. I was abandoned by my mother Mystique as an infant. Then I met Rogue years later. We could have been enemies. Instead, Unlike our mother, we chose not to abandon each other and simply be family. Blood is blood. Family is a choice. Family is family. So what is Sinister doing? Like, is he still making potions for whatever? No oh, look at that reflection. The use of reflections. Whoa! I'm using Bastion. Pink pens brimming with mutant test subjects. That's my dream. I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, reflections, right. The use of reflections in the series has been fascinating. Off of helmets, off of glasses, off of everything. No, forgive me, curse me, just please talk to me. You must have something to say. Fuck you. Oh my God, if he dropped an F-bomb, that would be amazeballs. And apologies. Who let her on campus? This address doesn't look like any Sentinel facility I've seen. Exactly. Jean? This is no Sentinel facility. This is Bastion's childhood home. He grew up here. Stark Expo. Was that what's her name? My son said you'd come get me tomorrow. Apparently not. She's... Mother's in the house. Mother's in the house. Please make yourselves at home while I pack. Just who is this guy? I see a child who could hear things. And the boy's father, the school janitor, being infected by something from the future. Nimrod creating something new parts past present will I ever be normal you are normal you're my son so what turn he's descended of every sentinel from yeah. master mold to Nimrod born you should have warned us about Genosha well I did but I also said bully and underdog too long and people start feeling sorry for them. 
So I hand humanity Genosha. Overload their bandwidth. Because when your skin's not in the game, apathy's your answer. Do not mistake Doom's collusion as indifference to flagrant war crimes. Your Sentinel program can't go wide so long as leaders like President Kelly see the X-Men as allies. In a hundred years, mutants outnumber humans ten to one. And generations later, human extinction. Act today to save tomorrow. Enter. Operation Zero Tolerance. Who are all these people? Why are they wearing a uniform? Before today, this fellow was your average Joe. With all this mutant loving, people like Joe turn to dial up chat rooms to speak freely, to connect. What's a taxi driver supposed to do when a teleporter gets you there in a blink? The human community is skin. Do these people even know what you're doing to them? No, and she didn't know this at all, in any capacity. After this, they wake up in their daily lives with no memory of ever being here. You said you were building a new sentinel, not weaponizing civilians. Semantics. Do you have children? It's important to cherish every second with your child. They grow up so fast. Here, let me show you his best one. Painted it when he was 16. The final dream, he called it. Like all good art. <laughs> he sentinized his mother. It imitates life. Oh, Ford, a little privacy? Surrender, mutants. Weaponized the butler. Would they know they're sentinels? Trask didn't. Not at first. Oh, this is Miss Tibbs Hera. <gasps> well, that's a lot of people. Oh, my stars and garters. We must warn the team. Don't. Yep. Yep. Uh, you spoil his surprise. Uh, He's our test deck, my creator. All those years telling us to face the future. But now. Uh. Surrender, I gotta talk to Hank about his taste in women. Oh, she's got lasers? Cable, any of those nifty grenades of yours? Yeah, might need a few more. Oh, holy he shit! His entire hometown into... Nathan, Jane, run! <laughs> Your ship's gone. Your ship's gone. What kind of shield do you have on your ship? <gasps> Wait. Oh. Hey, one more does that for half a second. I'm like, ooh. Mm -hmm. no. Did your butler just turn into a sentinel zombie? <laughs> Did Jubilee hear about the super sentinels? Oh, and after all. Wheat. Yeah, they always have trouble at the malls. Okay, so humans aren't going to be freaked out about super sentinels? Like those who are not turned to super sentinels? Oh, and the picture's burning! Oh, 
Well, that's a shot. Why resist the inevitable? Lady, I got six reasons why. No, my friend. Nine. Ah! Okay, Rogue, that's okay. You just stay unconscious. <gasps> and it's healing! <laughs> so are they totally indestructible? <laughs> oh, was that them using more... You know, Nightcrawler's teleporting powers. Man, everyone could fly but me. Well, it's time to try that. Uh, you what? Too? I know. I've been practicing in the danger room. Well, this ain't cool. Screw it. I'm not doing this again. Nathan, get in the back. holds how many potentially six six people or so that car only holds three four two four if you squish wow forward okay let's show these toasters why you don't screw with the summers <laughs> i got you just good Da 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 da. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile. Oh, Mom, these killer robots are trying to kill me. We do not kill mutants. We save them. Stand down. Milfilu, <gasps> do what the men say. What? That human wretch let Magneto out. She's lost her mind. Oh, he can open a portal? To where? Do you understand the futility of your bleeding heart? You're a monster. I was born this way. <laughs> and she... <laughs> <laughs> In Genosha, I felt a lot of things. Pain, grief. But you know what the oddest thing was? No one seemed shocked or surprised. Yeah, I just had the most profound sense of deja vu. Because we always end up in the same ugly place. Magneto knows us better than Charles ever did. But the scariest thing about Genosha wasn't the death or the chaos. It was a thought. Magneto was right. Enough. Oh shit. <gasps> Spider-Man! What the dog is that? He was under water with the thing. <laughs> he 
just roll rogue in your little bed. Where's the professor when you need him? Right here, Logan. No, he's gonna crash in the house regardless. I hope that I'm not too late. To me, my X-Men. <gasps> oh, yeah, where's Storm been this whole time? Oh, this is so much to process. Even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. Cooper, what is her name? Blonde lady. Okay, is she related to Bastion in somehow, shape, or way? Because the picture of the mom looked just like her. Like, is she a sister or what? Maybe they allude to it. Maybe they just drew somebody very similar. But just like with Trask. You're working with a man named Mr. Sinister. <laughs> and you don't think that shit's gonna go down. <laughs> with the Sentinels. You know how bad the Sentinels are anyway. <sighs> As you lied to Gene and Scott multiple times. Everybody, everybody, everybody. And you don't think bad. You're dumb. <laughs> Just dumb. Sheer number of people who were these super sentinels. Is it all over the world or just that part closest to where they are in like the New England area? That's a lot of people. But yet nobody in Roberto's mom's party were super sentinels except for the butler. Okay, okay, okay. And so, so basically, if I remember what, there was a lot of exposition. So Bastion turns people, humans, into super sentinels. So now they're more powerful than mutants. All mutants are now enslaved. And that says utopian future. Sure, I missed it went fast. So this is when a second and third and fifth watching will become helpful as to what exactly went down in the future that Cable said. Because right now it's not looking good for anybody. Anybody. Humans or mutants alike. And the cameos. There were cameos. There were lots. There we go. <laughs> what else can you say? They were there. They made you go, what the fuck? Nah. <laughs> it is an interconnected world. So the super bad stuff's happening. We need to have even more. We got to escalate the stakes before we get our finale conclusion to a point because there's a season two. What else? And Charles just shows up to me. My X-Men. Okay, yeah. Okay, so Eric. That was my other... Bastion was doing something to Eric. What exactly was he dipping him with the virus? So he would be a super sentinel mutant vi what, what is he doing? He gets let go. He goes to the North Pole. Connects with something to wipe out everything. Somehow, some of y'all will explain the quote unquote mutant science to me as how that happened. So do we know whether or not yet if Eric was infected and is himself a super sentinel? I guess not because he didn't turn into one, but what were they doing to him? What experiments were they doing? Because Bastion kept him alive for a purpose. What purpose was that? Unless they met, said it and I didn't catch it because I was too busy going, oh. what else did I miss? What else did I miss? Okay, so let me know what else I missed. <laughs> let me know what else I should add to the drinking game. 
And uh, hit subscribe. Take care of yourselves. Stretch your bodies. It's been a kicker of a week. Um, so yes, please take care of yourselves. Eat. If you have not eaten, this is your reminder to go eat something. And then you're going to come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.